Hi, good evening. This is Robert Marking coming to you from West Palm Beach, Florida. And I want to welcome everyone to this Team Advil Explosion webinar. Uh, tonight's webinar is exciting. It's featuring the 24-day challenge that is currently sweeping the country. Uh, the 24-day challenge is a health and wellness program uh, that will help you strip body fat, increase lean muscle tissue, increase your energy levels, and take you to optimum health. What I'd like to do now, because we have so many new distributors with us on the phone tonight, is share a short two-minute video highlighting all the component products of the 24-Day Challenge. I'm here to tell you about Avocare's hottest bundle, the 24-Day Challenge. The 24-Day Challenge consists of two phases, the cleanse phase and the max phase. The cleanse phase lasts 10 days and consists of three products, the Herbal Cleanse, a Megaplex, and Avocare Spark Energy Drink. The Herbal Cleanse is a system designed to cleanse your body of toxins and prepare your body for optimal nutrient absorption. A Megaplex is a unique blend of essential fatty acids for overall wellness. Omega-3 fatty acids are essential components of heart, nerve, muscle, skin, bone, and immune health. Advocare Spark Energy Drink is a fantastic source of energy, nutrition, and mental focus. It's sugar-free and it's formulated with 21 vitamins, minerals, and nutrients that work synergistically to give long-lasting energy. These three products work to cleanse and prepare your body for the max phase days 11 through 24. The max phase consists of the Metabolic Nutrition System, or MNS, meal replacement shakes, and Spark. During the max phase, you can choose from three metabolic nutrition systems, which all provide sustained energy, appetite control, core nutrition, and overall wellness. The max three is your basic level of appetite control and energy, but for a higher level of appetite control, you can choose MNS Max C, and for more energy, you can choose MNS Max E. Whatever formulation you choose, they include Corplex, our multivitamin, a Megaplex, probiotic restore, thermogenic components, and additional wellness supplements. The meal replacement shake is a healthy, delicious meal solution that includes 22 to 24 grams of protein, 24 grams of carbs, 5 to 6 grams of fiber, and 26 vitamins and minerals, and 50% of your recommended daily allowance of calcium. An additional box of Spark completes the max phase, and now you're ready to complete your 24-day challenge. For many additional resources, including a daily guide and some great companion products, please visit avocare.com slash 24 day challenge. Now I'd like to move on to the training portion of our webinar where I bring on two very, very special guest speakers that are experts with the 24 day challenge. I have Renee Battenberg from Kingwood, Texas and Denise McCauley from Ramsey, New Jersey joining us here this evening. Renee Battenberg is a 7th degree black belt in Taekwondo. Renee won the world championships in 1993, 1994, and in 2000. Uh, back in 1993, Renee won the Miss Petite Texas pageant, and in 1994, she was first runner-up in Miss Texas. 1995, Renee was selected as Woman's Entrepreneur of the Year, and Renee and her husband Jeff are proud owners of the Battenberg Black Belt Academy in Kingwood, Texas. So glad to have Renee on the call with us here tonight. And now I'd like to share a little background on Denise McCauley. Denise McCauley is undoubtedly an expert in the 24-Day Challenge. Uh, she is an elite personal trainer. She has personally helped hundreds of people look and feel better by through the use of the Advocare products. Uh, when I have a question about the 24-Day Challenge or need some advice, Denise McCauley is the person that I call because she has the experience and the knowledge to really help anyone get the best results with the Advocare products. Denise is an elite personal trainer uh, in Ramsey, New Jersey, and I'm just so excited to have Denise on the call with us here tonight. So sit tight, take good notes, and let's move forward to the training portion of our webinar. Now let's move right into the questions that we have for Renee Battenberg and Denise McCauley this evening. And uh, I guess the first question is, how do you talk to people about the 24-day challenge? 
Now this would include the people that you know and also the people that you don't know. Uh, Renee would like to go first. Well, we're kind of in a fortunate situation uh, where we have a martial arts school, and um, so we've got a very active audience. Um, about 17 years ago, when my husband and I first came on board with AdvoCare, uh, you know, nutrition wasn't looked at the same way as it is today. We back then we had to convince people, you know, that not only about uh, nutrition, but about the benefits of taking it for themselves. Um, so, well, what we found today in our society, so many more people are in tune to to being healthy, and they're starting to educate themselves, uh, and they they're coming to us as fitness experts. So, with people that I know. Uh, that's kind of where it gets fun for me. The the 24 day challenge is really what helped spark my drive for myself, and then to be able to offer that to my extended Taekwondo family. So what I did um, with people that I know is I decided I was going to put a, a challenge together, and I actually took the challenge with them, which really really. Um, made my results much higher because I could experience the results with them. So what I did was I kicked off a challenge um, with everybody that I knew. Um, I emailed everyone, whether they were students or families or friends um, or friends of friends. I just put a big email list together and I, I let them all know that, hey, I'm going to take this challenge. Um, and if anybody wants to take the challenge with me, we're going to kick it off on this date. Um, here's the deadline to order your kit. Uh, in fact, I'm going to set up an orientation. Here's the date that I'd like to have everybody come by, and uh, we're going to we're going to really learn about um, how to get in shape and how to really get a jump start. Uh, and that losing weight is not about a quick fix. That's not what we're trying to do with the 24 day challenge. It's all about finding a lifestyle and the habits that work best for you long term. And uh, if you want to come on by and learn about this, you'll be amazed at just how quick your body responds with the right foods and exercise. So that's kind of one way that I kicked it off is I just did it myself, and I brought them in, uh, and I ended up having 21 participants uh, join wow. the challenge with me. And it was so that's that's one way, and I and I kick these challenges off every other month. And right now I'm on my second one. Um, the results have been fabulous. I'm not even having it having to advertise it as much now. People are now in my in my academy, and members who have taken this are now coming and asking me, when is the next challenge? So um, I think the main thing to keep in mind is to just send out something to everybody. Let them know, hey, I'm taking it with you. I want to get results with you. We're going to do measurements. We're going to take pictures, and um, we're going to all get uh, lose weight and get healthy together. Thank you, Renee. Tons of great information there. And Denise, is there anything you'd like to add? Um, I'm also in the fitness industry, so you know I have I have a, a good like immediate audience. But I think what's happened with the 24 Day Challenge is that it's enabled me to get past my immediate audience to really be able to help them as well as their spouses, um, their friends. Um, people tend to once they start feeling really, really good. They tend to want to share with other people, and the, and the cycle grows. So, you know, the amount of people that I've been able to help through the 24 Day Challenge has been really immeasurable. Um, I think it's really important to have context to talk about the 24 Day Challenge, and I think people tell you things all the time. You know, they tell you, "Hey, I'm I'm so tired," or you know, "Hey, I'm I'm really stuck at this at this particular weight. I, I just feel plateaued. I don't know how to get past it." Or people will flat out say that they want to lose weight. But any of those things that people say to you are a great conversation starter for, for the 24-day challenge. So, I mean, regardless of whether it's somebody you know or somebody you don't know, you know, generally what's going to happen is somebody's going to come to you based off of somebody that you have helped. So it's kind of somebody that you're going to know indirectly because of that person. But just find the context. Find what's going to be a win for them. Is, is, it, is it energy? Is it you know, the way that they look, is it that they want to tone up, is it that they just flat out want to lose weight, or is it that they're frustrated with their current weight. So find what's going to be a win for them, and then that's what I've found has been the best way to talk about the 24-day challenge. Thanks, Denise. That was super. A lot of great information, and I hope all distributors on the line tonight are taking great notes. Uh, one way that I personally like to promote the AdvoCare products, and especially the 24-day challenge, is through the nutritional mixers. The mixers are awesome. They're fun, they're upbeat, they're energetic, they're informative, and people really enjoy stopping over at one of their friends' homes 
uh, to hear more about how they can look and feel better and lose weight and have more energy. Uh, mixers are a great way to really build your retail business. Uh, and also, it's a great way to start sponsoring distributors to be part of your Avocare team. So if you haven't had a mixer, uh, book a mixer with your upline, invite your friends over, and watch the magic of the mixers grow your business. Now the next point is that I'd like to mention is that there's a lot more people that you don't know than you do know. And one great way that I found over the last 19 years to talk to people that you don't know is through flyers. And we have an awesome flyer that's been developed now for the Team Advo Explosion. Uh, the flyer is a four by six flyer. And on the front side is the 24 day challenge. And on the back side is the Performance Elite. And so this is a great way that as you're out and about during the day uh, at the grocery store or at Walmart or at the gas station, uh, you can have a goal of maybe handing out 20 a day just to people that you're coming into uh, on a daily basis that you don't necessarily know or people that you see on occasion uh, out and about. And you can just hand this flyer to them, uh, let them know that you're in a health and wellness business and that you goal is to get 20 of these out a day and they just happen to be one of the lucky people to get one. And you can just mention to them that if they have any more questions about the 24 day challenge or the Performance Elite products, they can uh, click on that QR code or look it up to hear more about it or call you for more information. And oh, by the way, if you don't need to lose weight, maybe someone you love does or if you're not a person that wants to get in shape, well, maybe there's someone that you love does. So feel free to pass it on to somebody that you know. And this is a great way of talking to 20 new people a day. And that's pretty easy to do. And uh, 20 a day and in 30 days, you've talked to 600 new people about the Advocare 24 Day Challenge and or the Performance Elite products. And out of those 600, you're gonna get a lot of no's, but also you're gonna get a lot of yeses. And so this is one great way to promote the Advocare 24 Day Challenge and the Advocare Performance Elite product line on a daily basis to people you don't know. And uh, we got a pretty good deal on these flyers. Uh, you can get 5,000 made for $99 plus shipping, which is awesome. So uh, feel free to get a hold of me after this if you'd like to get some flyers ordered. Also, you can order uh, a smaller amount, it's gonna be a little more expensive, but it's a great way to really promote your business on a daily basis to people that you don't know. Moving on. So now, Denise Renee, let's say we have someone interested in getting started on the 24 day challenge. Uh, so what type of questions do you ask a new customer uh, to make sure you get them on the right system depending on their specific needs and their specific budget? Uh, Renee, would like to go first? I think the, the main thing that I like to focus on is whenever one, anyone says I, I'm, I'm interested or, or tell me about this. And it's usually them wanting to know about a particular product. Tell me about the spark, you know, and that tends to get them in, you know, to, to conversation with me. But I always like to find out, first of all, you know, there's, are you, you know, I would love to coach you. I would be um, absolutely, uh, would love to be a part of this with you and, and changing your lifestyle. Are you, um, are you willing to, to to, to make a difference? Are you willing to take the time? First of all, are you committed, you know, to, to taking the challenge? Um, and, and I think as long as you're committed to taking the products correctly and as long as, you know, you're coachable, you know, and teachable, let me do that with you, um, I think you're going to be happy with the results. Um, obviously, we always want to make sure if you're on any kind of medications, I do like to know up front as well because uh, that's where a lot of times I'll have to ask them, you know, we want to make sure that your doctor um, gives approval you know, if you're on certain kind of medications um, with our Advocare products. But we do find that um, our products are, are, are safe, they're um, it's natural, and I think for most people, it, you know, we, we get good results with them. Awesome. Uh, Denise, do you have anything to add to Renee? Um, I like to find out about people, whether, they're, they're, whether they have sensitive absorption or not. Um, that is a, a, has been a key point for me to figure out what kind of products to recommend for them and what kind of system to put together for them. You know, we also like to ask people definitely about medications. It's very important to 
get doctor approval for certain things and just, you know, make sure that we understand what somebody's dealing with so that we can properly um, advise them how to take, you know, how to take the products properly. Thanks, Denise. Good stuff. You know, I guess one question that I get often from new distributors is, you know, what MS system should I put my new 24 day challenge customer on? Should I put them on the Max 3, the Max E, or the Max C? And really, how important is the companion product, uh, the catalyst uh, in the 24 day challenge, and or the Thermal Plus in the challenge to really help my customers get the best results? Uh, Renee, would you uh, answer that? Yeah, I, I think I think Catalyst is definitely a must. Um, with each participant that that does our challenge, you know, we uh, we pretty much have them all take the Catalyst because I, I certainly got good results with it, um, and and many of our athletes have that had to cut weight in order to uh, participate in their competition. So the Catalyst we're we're sold on. Um, what I do is I give. Uh, each person, when I sit down and I, I meet with them about the AdvoCare for the first time, I, I show them three checklists, and it's either a good, a better, or a best. And I, I talk about the difference. And, and basically, the good is um, just a basic method of taking the challenge. It includes the spark and the herbal cleanse, uh, and that they'll get good results with that. But then I also like to talk about the better system, which is going to kick in a, a bottle of Catalyst and how that's going to strip away the fat, and it really is going to, you know, uh, preserve the integrity of the muscle, which we're all going to want to have while, we, while we're losing weight. Uh, the best system for them would be kicking in three bottles of Catalyst and maybe some extra meal replacements. And, and for those that need to lose a little more extra weight, then uh, we recommend the Thermal Plus. So for me, uh, I give those three choices, but the Catalyst is definitely what I put all of my, um, my team on whenever they take the challenge. I think the M&S is also um, a priority because it's kind of the core nutrition. Um, right. that we that we take and then I'm going to ask them just to, and when they do the maintenance program when we're finished with the challenge um, that's probably the number one product that I'm going to recommend so that way they've got control of their food without all the extra cravings that they might get without the MS. Now do you prescribe usually or suggest the max 3 to start everybody off with at the beginning? I do. I do. Okay. I put them on max 3 and then um, once they finish the the first phase stage and we um, we kind of evaluate where they are at that point then I ask a few questions you know do you feel like you need a little more appetite control have you has that been an issue for you uh, with the with the three if they say yeah I would like to control my food a little bit more then I'll change it over to the C uh, and on the opposite side of that if they feel like maybe they could uh, benefit from a little more energy then I'll uh, recommend the MNS E so at that point then we can kind of monitor and adjust as we go along Awesome. Now, Renee, you've had some people that just can't take pills. I know that top issue came up just recently, and we have a solution for that at Avacare. And what is that, Renee? Well, um, now we've got the Slim um, product out. So um, just by taking the Slim, you know, it, it, it beats those objections um, of, of not being able to swallow a pill. Some people feel like the pills are still kind of in their esophagus when they're when they're taking pills or they have a gag reflex or uh, I don't find many that, that have those um, issues, but when I do have them, I definitely set them up on the slim. Uh, you know, another thing, too, is you can open up a catalyst and, and pour that into a drink. Um, now they've got the, the, uh, the Champ chewables that's that's really good. It's got good fats in it. Um, we can also open up the probiotic uh, and pour that into your spark. So there's ways now that we can actually help people um, that have the issues with the pills just with, by using some of our other products. Thanks, Renee. Denise, is there anything you'd like to add? We, you know, we always try and find out where people are nutritionally in order to recommend, you know, which MNS to recommend. So if somebody is like really very, very athletic and, and um, you know, we had a spin instructor, for example, who was just, her body was just completely depleted. And although she could benefit from the MNSC, we, we started her off on the MNS Max 3, just to kind of, you know, MNS Max 3 is a 10 on the wellness scale with all the different components in it. So we started her off on that. Um, throughout her challenge, we did switch her over then to the C. Um, you know, we have some people that we start straight away on the C because based on everything that they've told us and where they are and their patterns and their habits eating-wise, um, we start them off straight away on the C. Um, some people we find when people are super high energy, 
to begin with, um, then we start them off on the E. So typically for us, you know, we found like ladies over, you know, in their 40s or so benefit really well from the C. Um, men over 40 typically benefit really well from the E. Um, but again, we're always monitoring to see how people are feeling. If for somebody it's, it's too much on anything, we will gladly change that out for something else. But it's really based for us on their circumstance, how depleted they are nutritionally, and um, what their eating habits are. And then based on that, we kind of make a decision as to which MNS to start them off on. Um, we also believe very firmly in the catalyst. And um, for anybody that has like a decent amount of weight to lose, we also recommend the, the Thermo Plus. Um, Catalyst, I, I have to talk to my ladies about kind of often because Catalyst is all about body composition, as, as Renee had mentioned before. Um, it's a phenomenal way to keep your muscle. Um, but sometimes Catalyst doesn't show on the scale. Catalyst will show in how loose your genes are, but it doesn't always show on the scale. And so, you know, we make sure that we talk to people about that and that they understand what they're taking and why they're taking, and we kind of try and cast a little vision for them so that they get it. You know, when they step on the scale, if it doesn't change, you know, let's look at your genes. Where are you fitting into your genes? And sure enough, the genes are looser. Um, so those would be my, that's generally how we go about it with our MNS and them recommending the, um, the Catalyst or the Thermo Plus. Super. Robert, I, yes? You had mentioned uh, about some common objections. I, I wanted to, to interject a, a couple others that I had sure. found on the challenge. Um, I, I had a, a couple of uh, participants mentioned, you know, that one of their objections was it just didn't fit their lifestyle. You know, remembering to take the pills is a, another area that I'm, I'm really trying to coach my team on. And some of the recommendations that I got from some other team members was that they, you know, one of the things they do is they'll actually take the uh, product with them to work and they'll set the, the empty box or the product on a work table. Or if they're home often and, and maybe that's where they're forgetting to take the pills, they'll actually set them out someplace, whether it's on the nightstand or it's on the, ta the kitchen table. Uh, I had another person who's a school teacher, and she says she sets her phone on a, with an alarm. So that way it goes off whenever she's supposed to take her packet, because being a school teacher, she's very busy during the day. And mm -hmm. um, her, her, she, she conquered that objection pretty quick by using her uh, alarm on her phone. Uh, and then one thing my husband does is he puts the packets in his, um, in his pocket so that he hears the crumbling uh, of, the, of the product, and it always reminds him, you know, right before he eats, that he'll remember to take them. So I think, you know, there's ways that we can, we can help our team with uh, overcoming the objections. Uh, again, as long as they're, you know, willing to be committed to get the results. Um, we can't always control, you know, when they take them, but as long as we stay in touch with them every day with a some way or another, whether it's an email or a phone call or somehow or another, if we can try to stay in communication with them, um, I'm, I'm conquering that pretty quick. Thanks. Great information there. Uh, the next point is what type of food plan do you put your customers on during the 24-day challenge, uh, during the cleanse phase and the max phase? And do you have any suggestions for healthy food alternatives and healthy snacks? Renee, would you like to go first? Well, what I like to do is I, of course, I, I like to, to give out a grocery list um, with the challenge manual that I give everyone um, because people like to be able to have a list that they can go to the, the grocery store when they're ready to, to get buy some good clean food um, a day or two before they start their challenge. So uh, one of the things that I, I put on the list of them is I really want to focus on good lean proteins during their, their challenge, um, lots of veggies, lots of fruits, um, you know, Drinking water um, is very, very important, uh, and then possibly you know there's some 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 healthy snacks that they can have, which would be your almonds, uh, some of your nuts, um, some of your seeds. The the main thing during the challenge that I do focus with them on is just we really want to try to avoid um, some things such as your creamy sauces and your fried foods, and, and we uh, I like to keep all the breads out. Uh, even the whole grain breads I recommend on my first 10 days because, you know, some people are going to have uh, sensitivities, food sensitivities. Uh, wheat tends to be a very common one. And if I, can, mm -hmm. um, if I can address that by taking out a lot of those products in the very first 10 days, and that's really where I'm getting a lot of the results. Uh, 
of course, there's other things too. I try to have them use spark instead of coffee. And many have found that the spark has um, really fulfilled their need for that caffeine in the morning. And some have, have continued with the spark uh, instead of the coffee, which was pleasing to hear. Um, so that, that's kind of the main areas, um, just keeping them eating clean, you know, avoiding um, certain things, just the sodas, the high-calorie dressings as much as possible during that uh, the first 10 days. Once we get to the max phase, then I like to um, add uh, some optional carbs. Maybe they can do some black-eyed peas and some brown rice. Uh, then at this point, we can pick up the whole grain bread if possible. But I, again, I really encourage them to stay off of the bread as much as possible so that we can see if that's you know part of um, part of the issue that they've got with their allergies. Some of the. Um, yep. Continue on. This is great stuff. Well, I was going to mention to them, uh, drinking water is, is an area that I've got to keep people going, <laughs> uh, including myself. And what, has, what seems to be working the best is to just uh, suggest to people that, you know, while you're drinking a lot of water and we, we've got to have that water to flush out all those toxins and, you know, it's really got to keep the squeaky clean inside that uh, slice up some, some mint or some lemons or some oranges. Even some cucumbers work great. Slice them up, put them in your water, um, even some frozen peaches, and you'll be amazed on how well you're enjoying drinking water again. In fact, um, now I've been off the challenge for a while, and, and that's what I drink every day now, three or four of those big bottles. Um, so there's, there's ways that you can work with people in getting them to drink more water and uh, eating clean and just staying, staying pretty much away from all the you know, the dairies and the, the drinks and stuff that they don't need. Good points, Renee. I agree with you um, about really avoiding some of the, the problem foods that sabotage the results of the 24-day challenge. I agree that a lot of people have hidden food allergies to wheat and gluten and also to dairy. Uh, Dr. Oz recently on one of his programs had mentioned that 90% of people that have gluten uh, sensitivities and celiac disease don't even know it. So it's really a great idea to avoid uh, some of the suspected problem foods like the gluten and the wheat and the dairy while cleansing just to ensure great results. And uh, Denise, I know that you're kind of follow the same program. Would you like to share with everyone uh, the type of food programs you use for your customers to the 24 day challenge? Um, we definitely encourage people on the cleanse phase to cut out the dairy, wheat, and also corn. Um, but we do explain to them, we really try and tell them there's a reason why. You know, it's it's kind of, it's interesting when you try and take something away from somebody. It's, uh, we don't want to do that. We want to be like Santa Claus because we are going to be the ones that are going to facilitate them feeling better than they felt in their life. So, you know, we want to explain to them that there's a reason why. So I always explain to them that, you know, oftentimes people are, taking in foods that they really, their bodies just don't agree with. And so this is kind of where we're going to weed that out. We're going to see if, you know, cleaning these things out of your body and then introducing them back slowly, that's what we do in the max phase. We introduce back one thing at a time to see whether it is an issue or not. And several people have found out that they can't, in fact, have gluten. Several people have found out that dairy just truly does not agree with them and the same thing for corn. So, you know, we do ask people to, you know, we, we make that suggestion. We tell them that, you know, 24-day challenge is, is a journey. It's kind of a fact-finding mission to really see what foods are going to work best for your body. And people do know right away when they take something in that they haven't had for quite a while, they haven't had for that 10 days, and they've gotten through that cleanse phase, when they put it back in, you know, they don't feel well. They either, you know, feel bloated or a stomach ache or a headache or something. They just know. They just know right away, you know, that that particular food does not agree with them. So that's kind of how we take the cleanse and the, and the max phase. Um, I always... Term, oh, I'm sorry. In terms of um, snacks and things like that, we, you know, we tend to recommend things, combining foods. Um, so not just fruit, but maybe, you know, fruit and almonds. Um, not just vegetables, but like vegetables and, uh, and a clean hummus or, you know, vegetables and, uh, and a clean guacamole or something like that. Just to, And we try and introduce people to different grains also. So, you know, getting people to try maybe barley or getting people to try maybe quinoa or some of the other grains that are out there that they can have, you know, in place of, 
in place of a bread or, or a pasta or something of that nature. Well, I, I found, too, that um, on AdvoCare.com there's so many great recipes that um, people can enjoy. Uh, and a lot of people that will say, you know, are there other foods? I'm kind of getting tired of, of eating the same things. And, and I think if you can share some recipes with them and let them know that, you know, uh, turkey and, and chicken and fish, you know, there's so many good foods out there that, um, that taking the challenge is not that tough to do as long as you just kind of eat clean. Like I said, have, have ground turkey instead of red meat. You know, avoid red meat definitely because that, certainly doesn't, um, when you're trying to detox and clean out the body, the red meat uh, tends to interfere with that. And, you know, and on the cleanse phase, I always just tell, I'm, I'm kind of, I'm kind of, I try to be real strong up front with them to let them know that, you know, there's, during the cleanse phase, we're talking 10 days, you know. Um, it, it's kind of like weaning a baby off of a pot pacifier. You just got to do it sometimes. And this is one of those times, there's no excuses. You just got to stick with the program and, and, um, and just give it your best because your body's going to respond um, beautifully if it's to the right foods um, as soon as you put it in. So I'm, I'm, I tend to take a little bit of a strong lead in the beginning and then, um, you know, then I nourish them or um, kind of take them through the rest of the 24 days um, as we go from there. You know, good stuff, good, good stuff. You know, what I found is if we get people off some of the suspected hidden problem foods like the wheat and the gluten and the dairy during the 10 days, by the end of the 10 days, they're feeling so great and so clean that they don't want to go back to eating those foods because they know what's going to happen. So um, the cleanse phase is amazing as far as how it really jump starts a person into a healthy lifestyle. Well, I just want to let you ladies know that I'm having a lot of fun tonight with you in the line. And I guess the next question is, is how important is exercise during the 24-day challenge? I know both of you are, uh, have a health and wellness and fitness background. Uh, and um, Renee, would like you comment on that? Well, I do like to, to recommend uh, from the beginning, that's one of the, the areas that I, I ask them is, um, are you what type of exercise are you already doing daily? Uh, for some, they're already, it's already in their regiment. They're, they're, they're very much into fitness. Others, uh, don't, they don't exercise at all. So what I try to do is I, I certainly invite them to come in and, uh, to my program and take a fitness kickboxing class uh, as just one way to, to try to get in shape or just as, as subtle as just walking around the block with your dog. But, but to have some form of exercise, it's always recommended. Uh, it just goes hand in hand with with nutrition, um, and, and certainly just eating real clean. Now, I did have I do have a couple that could not exercise at all. They um they were uh, in a position physically where they, they were not able to do any, and I had great results with them. So I think it just depends. To me, the exercise is a is a need for all of us. But, but I do want to I do want to share that for those that were not able to exercise and to still get the results because of the taking their supplements correctly and eating good, um, there is encouragement for them. For myself, I, I didn't add any more exercise than I do um, you know a couple times a week teaching my fitness kickboxing class. I'm an active person, so I don't just sit around. I do I do I'm active in my daily job. But, you know, by day 65, I didn't really pick up any extra, uh, exercise, and I still was able to drop two pant sizes and 10 pounds. So if for those who can't do it, we don't want to discourage them from taking the challenge. We still want to at least get them on, on good supplements and a good lifestyle. Um, but if I can uh, recommend it, I'm always, always in favor of that first. Super. And Denise? No, I'm definitely in favor of people exercising as well. Um, you know, I agree with Renee. There are certain people that really, that really can't do it for various reasons. Um, but I think, too, that we try to look at where that person is. And for some people, doing the challenge is a complete overhaul. And that's really, like, what they, what they need to focus on for that first 24 days. And, you know, we just get that information by really digging in with those people and finding out where they are, getting an understanding for them. So... You know, if exercise is going to tip it over for them and they end up feeling unsuccessful if they can't do that piece of it, then, you know, we don't want to push that piece of it. Um, we definitely, you know, 80% of how your body looks, we know, is what you've put into your body. So, you know, we really stress the food first. 
and sometimes, too, you know, not everybody loves exercise, and sometimes people just don't feel like they have the energy to do it. All these things crop up. Um, you know, being a personal trainer for over 10 years, like, I've, I think I've heard it just about all of it, but sometimes when people get a little bit of energy, then they're willing to entertain more, and then they're making the change. You know, we're not telling them you need this in order to be successful on this 24-day challenge. You know, getting their food in line, getting this world-class nutrition into their bodies is, is a phenomenal start. And when they start feeling better, then they want to entertain the exercise, and then we can take it that step further. Um, but I think it's important that we know who, who we're coaching um, so that we can coach them appropriately to success. Good points, Denise. One great thing about the 24-day challenge is that it's designed to feed the body into health. We're actually feeding the metabolism. We're stoking up those metabolic fires to help them lose weight. And we're not starving the body to lose weight. We're feeding it the proper micronutrients to really stimulate a healthy metabolism. As a result, people have an abundant amount of energy. They feel better through the day. They make better food choices and they move their body and exercise, not because they have to exercise, but because they want to exercise. And that's what's so great about the 24 day challenge because it empowers people into making a healthier lifestyle. Moving on, the next point that I'd like to talk about in our question and answer is following up. Um, you've always heard that the fortunes in the follow up and it really holds true with a 24-day challenge. So Denise and Renee, how important is following up with your new customers during the 24-day challenge? Uh, what days do you follow up with your customers on during the cleanse phase and the max phase? And what questions do you ask your customers when you follow up? Uh, Renee, would you like to go first? Well, I learned a lot from my first challenge. Um, <laughs> the following up and the, the communication on a to me, on a daily basis, was very important. Um, the first time I really was kind of waiting to, to hear back from, from each participant, and as I would run into them at our school, uh, I would kind of check in with them. But what I found that I like to do now is, is on a daily basis. I, I ask them at the beginning, can you shoot me a daily text or send me an email? Let me know how, you're, how the product's working for you uh, on the days that I don't get to see them. And uh, well, how are you eating? You know, how are you feeling today? Uh, just give me a little bit of a quick um, feedback on, on how you're doing on the challenge. Uh, and what I'm finding out is those who are really into it are the ones that are communicating with me every day. Um, and, and for the ones who do give me those daily texts or an email or even a phone call, you know, most of the time it's, hey, coach, just checking in, feeling great, and dropping weight, and it's fun getting skinny. You know, or I may have some that says, you know, I'm not getting as much energy today um, as I've been getting, um, you know, so whatever whatever they're giving me, then it gives me an opportunity to to immediately address their needs. Uh, it may be just, hey, keep going, you know, keep going. I'm so proud of you. You know, we're going to get there together. Or it may just be, you know, tell me what you ate today, you know, and maybe that had something to do with, with counteracting, you know, um, how they're feeling. So sending out a, to me um, the second challenge by just being more in touch with everybody on a daily basis, more so than on an every three or four day basis, has made a big difference for me. Um, one of the other things that I like to do is the day before they start their challenge, I'm, I, I send them an email that they'll subscribe to. Um, and it's through a company that actually um, allows me to set up a daily email for the entire 24-day challenge. And what they do is they'll click onto that and subscribe to it. Uh, the day before they start the challenge, so that uh, by day one, when they actually take their first products, they're going to get a daily email from me. And you know, how you doing, Johnny? You know, I hope everything is going well today. You know, here, make be sure to remember to drink lots of water, and um, you know, here's some great inspirational stories to to keep you going on the journey. Or you know, don't forget, make sure you check out the, some of those great recipes that we have. So by them having access to a daily email from me. Um, is really, really carrying them through this uh, this challenge together. Uh, in addition, of course, to to keep it me keeping in touch with them, whether it's texting, picking up the phone and calling, um, or just a, a daily email. You really hit a lot of great points there. And one point that I'd like to really talk about for a second here is um, it's not important that you want your new prospect 
to try the 24 day challenge. It's important that they want to try the challenge. And how you get people motivated to want to try the challenge is by showing them testimonies, yours and others, of people who tried the challenge in the past and have gotten great results from the challenge. So they can think to themselves, well, if it worked for these people, it can work for me too. Uh, and one key way to keep people motivated to want to continue on with the challenge, to keep moving forward, is by sharing testimonies of other people that have taken the challenge, who have gotten results, or even people on part of their challenge, their group of challenge, that are getting results, and ensuring that it will happen for them too. So sharing these testimonies is great. Uh, great point, Renee. They they do, and I think the I think continuing after the uh, twenty four day challenge too is a um, is real important. Uh, and before they get to the end of the twenty four day challenge, you know, just reevaluate what their goals are, you know, and let them know you've learned so much about how to eat foods right. Um, you've learned how to portion your foods, uh, and and you know at the right times to maximize your results. And so you know taking the supplements, look what it's done for you. It's been filling in those nutritional gaps. It's been uh, increasing your body's ability to let go of stored fat, um, mm -hmm. and and so it's just it's great again to you know to be able to understand that what we're doing is not that quick fix. It's about finding a lifestyle and those habits, you know that that work for you. And we want to keep you on a maintenance. If if you're happy with your weight, then um, we want to continue with you on the MNS because the MNS is your core foundational nutrition. Uh, mm -hmm. We certainly want to continue with the Omega Plex. Uh, and there's, there's, there's a few of the products that you've done well with. So, you know, the Spark has worked great. It's replaced your coffee or it's been giving you that extra energy. So those are things that we would want to continue to maintain your weight. Uh, for those that want to lose more weight, uh, then what we do is we continue on another 14-day program. And, and maybe this time we're going to add some Thermoplus. Um, and when you and take some more catalyst, then maybe we want to pick up some extra Advil, Advil bar meals, uh, and just mm -hmm. you know just continue to help you lose that weight until again we can put you on a maintenance program. But yeah, you're right. I think the sharing our testimonies and um, I like to take before and after pictures because you know maybe they don't want to take it at the beginning, but by the time they start losing their weight, they're so happy um, and they put a lot of value to having that before picture that they can compare and share with other people. Super. And Denise, I'm sure you have a lot to say here because I know you truly believe the fortunes in the in, uh, Denise, uh, the fortunes in the follow-up. Yes. Um, we like to, you know, before, before anybody starts, um, we really talk to them, first of all, to drill down as to why they're doing it. I think that's first and foremost. You know, we um, we ask people to keep a journal so that they can, you know, write down their foods and things like that so that down the line if we do have to troubleshoot, we have something. We don't have um, them trying to recall what they ate. We have it all written down and they can, you know, give that to us. Um, but before they start, we, we will talk to them on the phone or meet them in person and, uh, and have them go, you know, we go over the products with them. We open up the boxes, just the first part so that we don't overwhelm anybody and have them really look at what everything is, get a, you know, use the guidebook, the 24 day challenge guidebook, which is amazing, and just have them run through it so that they understand exactly what they're going to do. Um, we always follow up with people on, you know, again, it's, it's really dependent on who you're dealing with. Some people really need a lot more follow up than other people. Um, some people need daily follow up that, that we've had, and some people we can go along with kind of a, a schedule that I'll share with you now. So. Okay. Go over everything beforehand, then we're going to follow up and just find out how everything went. Ask them to give us a rundown of the products, you know, how they took them, their energy level, all of those things. Um, we'll follow up again on day three, always to give them a heads up that things are going to switch up for day four. We follow up on day seven, again, to give them a heads up that things will switch for day eight, and we follow up on day ten. And again, we do that same process. Let's take out the boxes. You know, take a strip out of the MNS. We make sure that they understand everything that, that they need to do going forward. Um, we'll follow up on day 11 to find out how that went. And again, it's a rundown of, you know, how did you do? How are you feeling? How's your energy? You know, standard questions that, that we like to ask. And then also, too, referring back to that journal, referring back to if there's any troubleshooting that we need to do, if they didn't have good energy, we can kind of refer back to that journal 
what they, what they ate, the interval of their eating, how much water they drank, all of those things. Um, you know, by day 13, we're trying to talk to people about really, really think about what you're doing right now. Everything that you're doing in this max phase is something that you can do going forward. So really think about what you're doing and what's working for you and, uh, and what you're liking. And we try to get people starting to think about that at that point in time because it's not 24 days and done. You know, 24 days is, is just the beginning. 24 days is the start of these new habits. And so by day 16 or so, you know, we're trying to talk to people about what it is, you know, what decisions that they've come to in terms of what they're going to continue with. Um, and we, you know, we didn't generally want to know, like during the cleanse phase, questions that we want to ask people. We want to make sure they're eating enough. We want to make sure that they have good energy. You know, we want to make sure they're going to the bathroom. Whatever way you can find to ask people that question, we need to know that. Um, we need to make sure because if it's not coming out, it's not coming off. So, you know, we really want to make sure that we are on top of things. And if somebody has a question, they reach out through text. Um, they reach out through email. You know, we just make sure that we make ourselves completely available and that everybody that's doing it with us understands that we're in it right alongside with them. You know, no question's a silly question. We'd rather know and be able to troubleshoot and tweak and make changes than not know, you know, because we want success for everybody that goes through it. Super points, Denise. You know, the fortune is in the follow-up. You know, Advocare has phenomenal products, life-changing products, but if people don't take those products right, they're not gonna get the results. And if they don't get the results, they're not going to reorder and for sure they're not going to give you any referrals or come in the business as your new distributor so it all begins with fortune to follow up and, and personally i like to follow up on the first day on the system the third day the fifth day the seventh day the 14th day and every seven days after that but because we have two systems two different systems the cleanse and the max phase I like to uh, start right all over again on the first, third, fifth, seventh day uh, on the max phase just to make sure that they're taking the products right. And when I do follow up, I always ask the customer, how did you take the product today? And they usually say, well, just like you told me. And I'll say, well, how was that? And I'll have them explain to me how they're taking the formulations. And a lot of times, uh, they're not taking it right. And what I say, I say, well, congratulations for getting started. You're going to get great results. But let me show you and tell you how to take them better so you can even get better results. And I always ask, you know, how is your energy level? And um, how is the taste? Because if they're making a shake and it doesn't taste good, they're not going to keep with it. Or if they make a spark and it doesn't taste right, they're not going to keep taking it. And a lot of times, people are usually using too much water with the shakes or the spark or not enough or it's not cold water and so on and so forth. So fix and refining in the very beginning, that first day, that third day, the fifth day is really important. If you don't talk to somebody for like a week or so, you don't follow up, there's chances are that they had a bad experience or they got confused uh, and you call them back, they've already made up their mind that they don't want to continue on with the program. So really the fortunes in the follow up and please don't think that you're bothering people. People really appreciate you following up with them, that you're sharing that you with them, that you care more about them than just making a sale. You're really there, uh, part of their team, part of their coach, to help them along the way, to help them reach their goals. So the fortune is in the follow-up. Okay, moving on. This is great stuff tonight. What is the biggest reason a customer fails or a customer may not reach their goals with a 24-day challenge. Uh, Renee, would you like to comment on that? Well, I think uh, the main area with the cleanse that, I've, uh, that I have found is just, for some of them, it's just getting used to, to uh, making the supplements as part of their lifestyle, as I mentioned earlier, is just by, by having a consistent schedule where they're you know, taking the products which is why, like you mentioned, I like to be able to ask them, you know, daily, how are you taking it today, you know, what are results, because it gets them kind of in the habit of, of taking those. So I think just getting, having that, again, be part of, of something that they're doing each day that they're not used to doing has probably been my biggest objection to that. Uh, the other thing, too, is some of them, uh, 
you know, at the very beginning, they may feel like they don't have the energy. Um, I always let them know that just keep in mind that your body is being detoxed. It's being cleaned out. Even more reason now that we want to pick up the spark a little bit just to make sure that, you know, that that's going to help you detox and, and get you to this stage. Uh, you know, and just maybe go through some of the expectations of what the cleanse is going to do for them. And it's doing an internal cleansing. And we just, it, it, your, your body may take a day or two just to kind of adjust to it. I like to remind okay. them what to continue eating as well. So I think that's the biggest thing is just okay. getting them used to taking the product the correct way. Um, I, I found that sometimes people don't eat enough. Um, and sometimes people take, you know, the guidelines that you give and then kind of um, create their own guidelines out of it. So, you know, again, that's where the follow-up is hugely important. I, I had one lady who decided that she was just going to eliminate all carbohydrates completely and, you know, was feeling very, very lethargic. And obviously there's, you know, there's reasons for all this stuff. This is where the troubleshooting becomes extremely important. But, you know, we found sometimes people don't eat enough, especially some of the ladies um, not eating often enough. Um, some of those, I mean, people, you know, some people have complained about the fiber drink and things like that. It's just one of those things we let them know that you're just going to, it's a fiber drink. I mean, you're going to stir it and you're going to drink it and it's going to do its job and it's going to give you some great results, but you just got to kind of hang with it. Um, I think for the max phase, some people, some people kind of fall off because they don't take the supplements as they should be taken. Um, some of the troubleshooting that we've come across is a lot to do with timing. Um, when people take, you know, their pre, pre-breakfast or pre-lunch, you know, it says to eat within 30 minutes. And sometimes as we find out, you know, that 30 minutes stretches to 40, which stretches to 45. And, you know, then invariably people don't feel so hot once they've done that. Um, and I try to explain to people that, you know, when you're putting this nutrition into your body, you're, you're telling your body to rev up. You're telling your body, let's go. And then you're not feeding it anything. So, of course, you're not going to feel too well. So I think some of the things are timing. Um, mindset is huge, though. Mindset, I think, is the biggest. And expectations. Mindset and expectations would be some of the biggest reasons why if somebody's going to, I hate to use the word fail, but if somebody's going to not get out of the 24-day challenge, what they want to, it's either because even though we stress it's not quick fix and it's lifestyle, they are expecting some kind of quick fix. Um, or that their mindset, they're just kind of a little bit negative about it and they have in their head that, that they really can't do it. You know, it's very important to, for us, we try as much as we can to really dig down, like I said before, to that why and get people to really understand what this is going to do for them if they give it a full chance, you know, they have to give it, they have to be open-minded. Um, Renee mentioned before about coachable and teachable. They have to be open-minded. They have to be willing to, to kind of look at things a little differently. Um, and just writing down their purpose and understanding that losing this weight is going to, how is it going to make them feel? How is it going to affect their life? You know, what is daily life going to be like? How are they going to be with their kids? How are they going to be with their spouse? Like all those things. So mindset is huge in being successful with the 24-day challenge. Robert, one of the things, too, that I have found um, successful in helping people, especially getting through the first 10 days, is, is uh, setting up a day 1, day 11, and day 24 uh, measurement and picture. Um, some people may choose not to do the, the photograph, um, although I had 90% that did. And what I found out is by having someone there that, that really you know, cared about them and, and was coachable or coaching them through this, that to let them know, hey, here's our expectations. You know, the, the, everybody's, uh, the inter everybody may react a little bit differently, especially to the cleanse days, but our goal is to finish the entire challenge and to get the results that you said that you wanted. And what I do is I set up uh, day one, day 11, and day 24, um, a session just one-on-one -on -one with them. And I think sometimes for people, they like to know that they're accountable for what they eat or for what they drink uh, in, a, in a crazy sense, to know that, you know, I've got to go and, um, you know, Renee's going to put me on the scale and just she and I, and, and we're going to do measurements, and, and we're going to be working to get these results together. Uh, I always give them the option, of course. You know, some people uh, 
choose not to, and I don't want that to be something that would keep them from doing the challenge. But I'm at about a 90% rate of, of working with people and giving them, again, the option of knowing they've got someone that, that will be there to, to make sure that, you know, that they do get the results. So the measurements, pictures, even if they just do it for themselves, I think is a big, big key to, to keeping them to stay. You know, Renee, I think measuring and taking before and after photos is awesome. Uh, but for those people out there that don't have an ability to do that with your customers, uh, one way that we've done for the last 19 years is just have somebody put a real tight pair of jeans on and uh, put them away in the closet and then try them on in 10 days and see how they fit. And then try them on again uh, two weeks later or a week later and see how they fit. Uh, that's one really easy way to really measure your progress on the 24 day challenge and one thing that uh, uh, was mentioned that you really have to watch the inch loss more than what the scale says because we're talking about firming and toning the muscles we're talking about dropping inches and we're talking about body composition changes here so that's what we really want to watch for but moving on um, what are some of the tips and ideas on how to get people to stay on the program a lot of times people get through the 24 days and they've, they've lost some weight, they feel great, and they just want to move on. And like has been mentioned before, this is just the beginning of a new you. So how do you get people to stay in the program? How do you get them to reorder uh, and keep them moving forward on a healthy lifestyle? Uh, Renee, would you like to share with you, uh, share what you uh, do with your customers? I think, it, it, I think the main thing um, to share with them is, you know, look, how, look where we've come. Uh, and going back and just reminding them about their goals again, and, and just keeping in mind that you know the the challenge is is just a you know a launching pad for their goals. That I want to we want to to get a, a living you know just be healthy and and make this a lifestyle and to continue on it. Um, whether we got um, the results you wanted with just a 24 days or or not, we our goal is to continue with um, Advil Care because. We want to be able to have a good supplementation that complements how well you eat, and then of course continue with a, an exercise program. Those three go hand in hand. So many people uh, exercise and, and they eat clean, but they don't always take a good supplement. And to me, that's the easiest part of the three of those is to have a real good, solid supplementation. So by supplementing, you're really going to continue to keep that core nutrition so that you don't yo-yo up and down with your with your weight. So I try to continue that, that with them as we go through the challenge is let's continue to, to, to on it until we reach your goals and then we want to maintain a good solid mm -hmm. supplementation through AdvoCare so that you'll always um, have the health benefits that you eat. Awesome. And the next question I have is how do you get referrals from your current customers? Uh, Renee, would you like to comment? Well, I try to tell people that to be prepared when they start losing weight, just be ready because other people are going to start asking them. Uh, and what is their plan? Do they have a plan for that? Uh, and, and so what I try to do is I just try to get them to not only focus on, you know, losing weight and getting in shape themselves, but to, to share it with other people because they're going to end up coming to them uh, at some point because they're going to start looking good, their energy is going to be up, and, and if they're going to be noticed. Um, so what I like to do is whenever they, whenever they first get involved, I try to let them know, you know, as people start asking you about Advil Care, have, have a plan. Uh, you know, here's what I like to do is I like to send them information, um, talk with them about it, but send them some information. You know, send them to AdvilExplosion.com uh, so that they can learn more, not, not just about the 24-day challenge, but they can also learn about uh, the integrity of AdvoCare and, and really how there's um, opportunities for them uh, with AdvoCare. So share it. Tell people about it. Have a plan. Uh, let me help you. I can help guide you through that, too, if you need help in explaining this to other people as your coach. One way that I found to be very effective in getting referrals is by doing this. I've been doing this for like 19 years. When I have somebody who wants to lose weight on the AdvoCare products, whether it be the 24A Challenge or the Trim Line, um, right when I'm writing out their sales receipt, I'm going to ask them, I'm going to say, say, say Sally Homemaker, uh, for example, uh, when you start losing the weight and feeling great on this phenomenal system, who would be the very first person that you care about that you'd like to share it with? 
and she'll say, well, maybe Susan, my sister. I'll say, great. I write Susan, her sister down on my receipt and I give the receipt to her. And when she starts losing weight and feeling great and having tons of energy, I'm going to ask her, hey, listen, I want to congratulate you on losing the weight. You're doing phenomenal. Do you think it's about time that we maybe contacted your sister, Susan, and maybe invite her to one of our mixers? or over here to hear more about the 24 day challenge. Wouldn't it be great if you could help her lose the weight that she wants to too, that she wants to also? Phenomenal. What did he say was talk to her? And that's one way that you can get a great referral off an already existing customer. Also, when your customers are losing weight and feeling great, you can always say, oh, by the way, who do you know that needs to lose weight too? Wouldn't it be great if you could help them lose weight with a great program like the 24 day challenge? How about if you give them a call or you invite them in for a mixer? So these are a couple great ways of, of getting referrals uh, through your already existing customer base to help build your Advocare business and help change lives. Okay, moving on. So Renee, I know that you and your husband Jeff have been great at doing this, but how do you turn a customer into a distributor uh, and possibly into an advisor? Uh, you want to comment on that? We actually have. In fact, with my first challenge, um, I was it was it was awesome. So many people were, saw the benefit of coming in and receiving a discount. That uh, we just looked at it last night, and seventy percent of our twenty-one participants actually became uh, came distributors. And what we do is we just let them know. You know, either you can order uh, your kit. At retail, or you can become a member of Advocare, just like Sam's, or, or joining Costco, and you can actually order online to receive a 20%. Uh, and we found out again that everybody loves discounts, uh, and so we tell them up front from the very beginning, once they um, are interested in the challenge, that you know we'd like to be able to offer them a discount, because you know not only will they be able to enjoy the discount for the challenge, but we're going to want to continue them uh, long term on a, a maintenance program to build a to make sure that they're getting their their core nutrition. So at that point, most people we don't actually retell them. We just have them. We go through and show them how they can get online to uh, AdvoExplosion.com, uh, and they can actually um, start ordering and, and benefiting from the discounts. And and then from there, they're able to share it with other people whether they want to order the products for them or they want to um, share them share the discounts. Uh, as well like we did with them. So it's all about sharing and it's all about enjoying the products. Uh, I've got some that are saying, you know, I'm enjoying um, a part-time income. It's kind of fun that people are coming and asking me how I'm losing weight. And, and you're right, I did have to have a plan. And so, you know, I, I like to take them and let them actually uh, enjoy the, the discounts and to see the opportunity that I'm now seeing. Good stuff, Renee. You know, over the years, someone of my very best customers became my very best Advocare distributors. Uh, customers that really had no intention of really working the Advocare business in the beginning, but because they got great results and had friends who wanted the products too, they uh, just decided to come to the business and start working on a part-time basis. And a lot of distributors don't come in this business to make a six-figure income to start with. They come in to make an extra $500 to $1,000 a month and when they meet those goals, they start putting a little more time into it and start doubling and tripling their income. And before you know it, they're in full time. And so some of your very best customers can become your very best distributors. And I'm sure many of you out there would agree that there is probably as many people out there that would like to lose weight as there are that, would, that need to make some good part-time or full-time income working with a great company like Advocare. And you won't know unless you ask uh, at your mixers and at your meetings. And just plant the seed and let them know, hey, listen, I'm working with Advocare Company. It's a phenomenal home-based business. And I'm looking for some people that I can lock arms with to help open up this market and to change some people's lives. And I thought of you. Uh, it may or may not be for you, but I'd like to take time to sit down with you and share it with you uh, and to let you see what we're doing here in this local area to see if this might be the right fit for you. Uh, and if it's not, that's quite okay. Um, but I'd like to have an opportunity to share it with you. And um, you may be surprised by how many people will sit down with you, take a look at the Advocate Opportunity, and get really excited and will want to be part of your team. 
So on that note, uh, it's been a great call, a great webinar. I want to thank uh, again Renee and Denise for participating and giving tons of great information. This webinar will be posted uh, on my training website in the password protected area under the book, The 24 Day Challenge. And all uh, this video and this webinar and all associated PDFs will be there. So uh, if you have any distributors that missed this webinar or if you sign up new distributors in the future, they can actually get uh, this webinar replayed for them anytime they want to in our training portion of the website. On that note, I want to just wish everybody the very best of health and wealth and good luck in your Avocare businesses. Good night.